What's up, guys? Welcome to G Whiskey. My name is Jeff. This is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey. And if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, let's jump into our review. Today, we're looking at the Isle of Rasse batch number two. Stick around. So this one was a bit of a gamble for me. I've got release number two from the Isle of Rasse. And if you know anything about this distillery, you know that they're very new. And as the name release number two might suggest, they haven't put out a lot of stuff yet. Now these guys only started distilling in 2017, so super recently. And last year in 2021, they put out two inaugural batches. Of course, you had batch number one or release number one and release number two. I didn't get to try the first one. This is the first bottle I've managed to get my hands on. And of course, it's the first whiskey I've tried from the distillery. Now I'll admit I'm usually a little bit weary of whiskeys this young. This stuff is only three years old, but because it's a new distillery, I guess curiosity got the best of me. And also I've been riding pretty high after discovering Arden American last year. They have a six year old release that absolutely blew me away. I've had a couple of other bottles from them since then. All have been excellent. So I've got a little bit more faith in newer distilleries these days. And you know, a lot of these new distilleries that are popping up these days genuinely know what they're doing. They're giving us craft presented whiskeys. They're bringing in skilled experts to make the whiskey. And they're trying to put out as good of a product as they possibly can because they have something to prove. Still, that being said, three years old is a pretty young whiskey, so we'll see. Um, our cast breakdown on this is pretty interesting. We've got some rye casks in there. We have some chincapin oak casks in there and we have some Bordeaux red wine casks. So it's done quite a bit of cask jumping in those three years of maturation. It's also lightly peated. I do like the sound of that, but you know what? This is one of those situations where I just, I don't know what I'm in for. And I guess that's part of the fun of discovering a new distillery. Um, Isle of Rasse, obviously Isle, it's from the Islands region. I absolutely love the Islands region. You know what? This one might actually work out. We'll find out. Let's jump into our review, see what the whiskey's all about. And in the meantime, if you could kindly leave a like down below, That'd be greatly appreciated. As I mentioned earlier, new distilleries do tend to give us good specs. Once again, they've got something to prove. So our ABV on this one comes in at 46.4%. It's non-show filtered and we have natural color. Perfect. So we've got a beautiful natural color here and I'm not going to lie. This bottle got me a little bit more excited to try this whiskey than I initially would have been. And I would have bought it anyway because I get excited about new distilleries, but Look at that. That's a cool bottle. That's an easy five out of five for presentation. We've got non-chill filtered natural color here. It tells us it's gently peated. It gives us the cast types. It tells us our tasting notes. Um, it says it's the first legal distillery on an island rooted in centuries of illegal distilling. Ooh. Um, honestly, just there's so much to love here. Great look, so much info, killer bottle. I did add a touch of water. Let's try our nose. It is spirity. Yeah, you have a bit of that sort of new make or cardboard type note in here, not gonna lie. Definitely some rye cask in here. I'm getting some spicy elements. I'm getting some spicy ginger in here, some herbal elements, some grassy elements. Definitely the rye is probably the most prominent of the casks that they, they, they matured in it. Although to be fair, I'm sure a lot of that spiciness is coming from the spirit itself. Uh, we also have vanilla in here. We do have some citrus, again, really big ginger in this. Uh, and we have some gentle peat. It's a pretty young nose. Now the palate. Quite a nice texture here, surprisingly. Uh, and it's not quite as sharp or as biting as I was expecting after that nose. Although we still do have some youth and some astringency here. Once again, I'm getting loads of ginger and I'm getting some gentle peat. Now the peat is kind of like a campfire style peat. Um, and there's also some citrus in here like lemon lime and some white pepper. And now our finish. Okay, so that gentle campfire peatiness now moves into like these smoldering embers, even a touch of ashiness. It's very faint, but it's there. Um, I'm getting some strong vanilla in here. 
there's a good amount of woodiness, especially considering the age, probably from that chimpakin, chinapkin, chipmunk, oak, whatever. We've got more herbal and grassy notes in here. Once again, we have lemon lime. This is a medium finish lingering on oak, spices, and a kind of cola sarsaparilla note. Okay, so this is not a bottle that really impressed me when I first popped it. In fact, I didn't really like it. It tasted somewhere between ready to bottle whiskey and straight up new make. And I do tend to be pretty sensitive to youth in whiskey, so I didn't really like it. Since then though, it has opened up. I am getting a little bit more like accustomed or acquainted with the character. It's still quite youthful, but I'm trying to look past that youth and try to get to know like the distillery character behind it. And I do think it's a good one. We have some beautiful coastal notes in there and those coastal elements always work nicely with that gentle peat. I do think this is a quality distillate and I think it offers up some nice complexity for a whiskey that's just three years old. Um, it's still very much a spirit driven whiskey, but there is some interesting interplay with the casks in here. So now that I've spent a little bit more time with it, where do I land on this whiskey? Well, I still don't love it. I think this whiskey, I think this distillery is going places. But for what's in my bottle right now, I don't think it's ready. And you know, it's not as new makey as it was when I first popped it, but it's still a little bit too youthful. That youth still throws me. Um, I do think it needs more time. Now I do understand why the brand is putting this out now. They do need to make money. Uh, they sell gin, of course gin helps, but you do want to put out some quality whiskey as soon as possible. And you know, people will buy this. I mean, hell, a lot of people buy bottles of new make. And by a lot of people, I mean, not a lot of people, but some people do. And I think most of the people that buy bottles of new make probably aren't doing it because they absolutely love the taste of new make. They're probably just trying to get to know a certain whiskey even better. And this whiskey does afford us that opportunity. Now, definitely we have some cask acrobatics going on here. They did try and make this as mature as possible, as fast as possible. But fundamentally, this is a spirit driven whiskey. Still, I think this is pretty solid whiskey. I think the brand has a bright future and I'm going to go a little bit gentle on them. Definitely, if this was a release from a brand with older stock at their disposal and they still opted to put out a very youthful, not bottle ready whiskey, I would definitely come down a lot harder on them. There are a lot of established brands out there that opt to put out younger, lesser whiskeys, even though they have older stock at their disposal, just because they want to make a few extra bucks from them. But that's not the case with these guys. And you know, again, new distillery, I do want to encourage new distilleries, especially when they're craft presented. They're bringing something new to the table. Anyway, putting all that aside, what's in my bottle here, I don't think is great yet. I still think it's young. I still think it's immature. In my opinion, it's not necessarily bottle ready and I don't reach for it much. So my score is going to be 82. But I think again, they're on the right path and I don't think we'll have to wait too long to see some quality stuff coming out from this brand. Like I suspect we won't need a full 10 years. If you look at Arden Merck and their six year old stuff is already beautiful. These guys, they have a great distillate, they have nice flavors, they have great texture. So I think they'll get there in a short period of time. I think we'll be seeing great whiskey from these guys within the next few years. Still at three years old, it doesn't quite cut it, but it is impressive for what it is. And you know, this has been a very interesting bottle to kind of get to know. Um, my interest is peaked and this is a brand that I will be following up with down the line. So I think our value here kind of sucks. It's not a great whiskey yet and it costs too much. Now, as I said earlier, of course, you can put out younger stuff, make your money, but don't overcharge if the quality of your whiskey cannot back it up. Again, this is a very young whiskey and I don't enjoy it that much. Like this stuff is much more expensive than the vast majority of 10 year olds or 12 year olds out there. Even Arden American, whose whiskey is double the age of this one and tastes much better in my opinion, their whiskey is still a few dollars pounds cheaper than this one in my market. So I would skip this one. I'd wait until they have some older stuff ready to go. Okay, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to help support the channel, please consider becoming a patron. Otherwise, you can like, comment, and subscribe. That's always appreciated. Now, I do want to hear from you. Have you tried an Isle of Rasse bottling yet? Did you try the first one or the second one? What were your thoughts? Did you think it was worth the money? Finally, down in the comments, you can let me know what you want to see me review next, and I'll keep it in mind for my upcoming videos. Bye, guys.